Hello everyone, welcome back to the Raw Dodge Reviews channel, and today we're taking a look at the anime heroes, Usopp from One Piece. Looking at the front of the box, you get the figure that is included, along with all the accessories. You also get the side a little picture with Usopp here on the side. Uh, you get the anime hero's logo, his name, and the One Piece logo up on top. And here on the side, you get this cool side portrait of Usopp, and you get the anime hero's logo up there. And his name down here. And here in the back, you get this huge visual look at the other figures within the wave. So here's Usopp, Rono Azoro, Monkey D. Luffy, Sanji, Portigas D. Ace, Shanks, Tony Tony Chopper, Frankie, and Trafalgar Law. You also get the Anime Heroes logo up there, and the One Piece logo, and the Toei Animation logo right there. Uh, here on the bottom, you get a bunch of little warnings. And here on the side, you get the Anime Heroes logo in Japanese. Here's the bottom of the box with a bunch of little warnings. And on, uh, finally on top, you get the Anime Heroes logo right here. So I'll go ahead and take it out of the plastic, and we see what's inside. But before I do that, um, in case you're wondering why I have Vivi right here drawn on my uh, backdrop, it's because I made a deal with my brother that if I had pulled Vivi... Uh, in the newest card set, uh, I would have to draw her here on my backdrop, and there she is. I'm really happy with it, and it looks really nice. Uh, only took me, like, about maybe an hour to do it, but yeah, it looks really cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here he is. I've got a plastic. And here's out of the box. And look at how close. Everything is spot on already. And I really like the look of the character. Looks really good. And of course, I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the head. It looks really good. As you can see, it's printing the eyebrows, the eyes, and um, I believe, no, his goatee is just painted. But overall, it looks really good. And of course, he has his headphones right there. He has this really cool, like, bun here in the back. And he has this really neat sort of, like, sun hat. And has a unique texture to it, kind of like Sandy. And he does have articulation at the neck as well as the top of the head. So you get quite a bit of movement here side to side, all the way back and forward. Look at the torso. He has his muscular body and he has these like red sort of like overalls connected to his pants. Uh, he has these goggles around his neck. And of course going to the back you can see... Uh, his back right here, and that's pretty much it. But he does have a ball joint here uh, at the waist, so you get quite a bit of movement as you can see. Here, side to side, all the way back and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around as you can see, and he does have a butterfly joint uh, at the shoulder, which is nice. He has a swivel above the elbow. And his elbow does go uh, all the way up, right there. It's a double elbow. Um, and he has articulation at the wrist at the hand. So you get quite a bit of movement, just like that. The other side as well. Arm sticks out about there. Goes all the way around. He has the butterfly joint. Swivel above the elbow. Double elbow right there. And he has articulation uh, at the wrist at the hand. So of course you get quite a bit of movement. And then, of course, he has that uh, wrap around his forearm. Looks really neat. Look at the waist. He has, uh, like, the top part of his pants. He has these, like, uh, I guess, like, uh, belt loop for his overalls. And then he has, like, this fur sort of, like, pelt that goes around his waist. And then he has this, like, front part. It's made of a looser plastic. And look at the legs. He does go out into a split position, he does go out into a sink position, and he goes back about there, and he does have a swivel on both of his thighs, and look at the knees, he does have double knees, so they go back about there, and look at the feet, he has these brown boots, and they just have a swivel and a rock wrinkle around them, but that's pretty much it, and look at the accessories. He comes with another pair of hands. Look at the hands. He comes with one right hand and a left hand. To put on another hand, 
All you do is just pop it off just like that. And you want to match the peg right here on his wrist until you hear sort of like a click. And there you go. Up next, he comes with a carrying bag. Look at the carrying bag. It looks really neat. It has this beige sort of like strap going around it. It's made of a looser uh, flexible plastic. And of course, he has this little like clamp up here. Has a gold sort of like color. And the bag itself comes in a red color. To put on the bag, all you do is just loop it around his head, just like this. Move his arm in place. And that's pretty much it. And it's very snug. It will not fall off. And lastly, he comes with Kabuto. Look at Kabuto. Looks very nice. As you can see, it comes in this like dark green color and has some nice detail going throughout it. And here in the back, he has a little pouch where he shoots off his projectiles. To equip Kabuto, all you do is put in the grip right here in his hand. Make sure it's in there very nice and snug. You know, put some support in there. Make sure it fits. And once you got that done, you can place his other hand right here with the pouch. And afterwards, you can like put it in place just like that. And you're good to go. So that was an overview of the figure. Again, just like I mentioned before, everything about this figure is spot on. And the guys at Anime Heroes know what they're doing. Like, every figure I've reviewed here on the channel, I've always loved. And I've never, ever seen a figure that I've disliked in their lineup, uh, especially One Piece. All the figures are, you know, amazing. And, for example, I mean, Usopp right here. The overall look of him, you know, it is amazing how well they do it. And not to mention the accessory, uh, Kabuto. You can see real cool uh, his other hand grasping the pouch. And then, of course, his other grip in the other side. The hand accessories are the best part about these figures. And, man, it is one of the best accessories I reviewed. There is one thing I'm going to say. Um, I believe Brooke was recently announced um so that's really cool that we're getting you know more of the straw hats but me and my brother were talking about it and anime heroes has not done any of the female characters in one piece and i really really hope that after brooke they either bring out nami or robin please anime heroes if you're watching this uh video or if someone is watching this video and you know they are in touch with them let them know that we, the fans, want Nami or Robin as the next figures. And they'll sell like hotcakes, believe me. I am going to pick them up if they come out. But overall, Usopp is, you know, a really good figure. And if you like the character, definitely get him. But I am going to leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the next one.